Hello everybody, my name is Termal Chicken and today I'm going to be giving you just a quick tutorial on how to get the best settings for your Roxio capture card and then also I will show you how to render it in uh, Sony Vegas to get a really good quality but keeping the file size down really low. Like I mean a 7 minute video I did was only 80 megabytes so if you're like me and you have bad upload speeds then this is probably the best tutorial for you. So straight away just click this little button here and enhance picture anyone who's your Roxio should know this. Settings, you want to set it to AVI, it's the best for getting the quality and whatnot. You want to put your brightness to 115 and your hue to 275, your sharpness on 0, your contrast on 34 and your saturation on 44. So then, once you get that, that's a really good setting to, for capturing content with the Roxio. So once you have that, you're ready to render it. Now if you don't have Sony Vegas and you don't want to render in Sony Vegas, that's fair enough. You can go render it in other software, whatever software you use. But for those of you who use Sony Vegas and want to see a good render settings, then Follow me over to Sony Vegas. Here we go. So, here we go. Here we have Sony Vegas open here now, and I have a clip already uploaded here. So, um, I'm just going to put preview here so you can see the difference. Now, you can just leave it just like that, and you can... Um, okay, so before we go any further, actually, we just open up the project settings, and the template is just HD 730p by, you know, the 29 frames per second. It should be there on it. HDV 720p, whatever. Or, yeah, that's the one, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. And uh, so once you have that, you click it, I, yeah, you click it and whatnot, and then that's basically what, this is all you have to do, just copy what you see here, you know, the width, that should be all the same, I think the only thing that I really changed was the full resolution quality, from, it was on good, just change it to best, that's basically all you have to do, the motion blur type Gaussian, Terrell met it off, leave that all on touch, and then you can start all new projects with these settings just by clicking that box, if you want, and apply and click OK. So you have your project set in there. So now we move on to this. So you can just leave your footage like that if you want. You don't have to edit or anything. But I'm just, this is for the sake of the Roxio. I'm just going to show you a, just some ways that you can make it look better. Now it's all up to you. It's all up to personal taste. But I just think this makes the quality so much better. So what you want to do is you want to get the Sony Color Curves. Add that and click OK. Now you'll get this straight line. Now I have a preset right here. Because for just to speed it up a little bit. So basically, all you want to do is, you just want to achieve this curve. And you can already see over here the change taking effect. This is the raw footage. This is the, the footage that we have now at the moment. So basically, all you want to do is, you want to just get this, just mimic this curve. Uh, the gray line, the gray dot up here should be about there. The one down here should be here. So just copy that curve, basically, okay? Easy. Like, you know, it already looks so much better, and we're only, like, we've only started. So, Sony Color Corrector is the next one we're going to put on. So, you want to add that and click OK. Now, there, there you go. I have already have a preset done, but I will show you as well. You can copy my presets if you want. And uh, here it is, basically. Now, this was designed for uh, Battlefield 3, this preset. But it is up to you. Like, you can you just mess with it until you get something that you really like and whatnot. But basically, for the low... Uh, you want to put it in just in between the, not you're not moving it too much off the center, just in between the two blues, okay? And then for the middle, you're really not moving it at all. You're just edging it towards the blues again, if you know what I mean, the blue colors, if you know what I mean. So then, and then on the bottom one on high, you just want to put it into the yellow and just over here into the yellow a little bit, maybe like a little bit edging towards the green, just to give it that kind of warm, just to give it a warm color effect, especially for Battlefield. I find, I seem to find the game quite blue, so I just want to give it that warm color effect. So that's that done then. And just leave these on touch. But again, you can mess around with them to get the best, to get whatever settings you want like it's up to you I really don't mind some people prefer just the raw footage some people like all this color correction but you can already see here the difference it makes and I think it's like this is the edited version this is the non-edited version I think it looks so much better like just click it off there like that it just looks it looks richer like it just looks better I think and it just brings out the quality a little bit more now then once you have all that done you want to render it so we're just this is the best part this is where we're going to get our low file sizes and whatnot and all like this and it's going to be it's going to be really cool so basically look you want to just, I'll just exit that off. This is where you find it, okay? This is the template we're going to be using. It's Internet HD, okay? So you go to main concept AVC ACC. This will be ticked up like this, as you can see here. Look, this is the one you want to get. Click it down and go down to Internet HD 720p. Now you click on that and it'll open up the same window I have here. But I have its template already done out and I'm going to show you exactly what you need, okay? No, don't render shit. I meant to customize template. There we go. So customize template. So basically, this is it. You just want to copy this down. 
your frame size just click this one here hg 720p frame rate is on 29 that should be like that should be set like that Tw frame rate 29 ntsc field order non-progressive scan pixel aspect ratio one number of reference frames one put on variable bit rate with click and check the two pass with maximum bps of one five one five zero 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 and your average bps of one five zero 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 encode mode automatic and enable progressive download so if you didn't catch that just pause it and you'll be able to see it all there and just copy it down your audio is going to be sample rate 48,000 and your bit rate 128,000 should be set like that you shouldn't have to change it uh, your system check your view don't know what that is and your project should be use project settings and use project settings and that's basically it then you just click ok and it should start rendering now, if this helped you guys in any way, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe, and please subscribe anyway, but yeah, if it helped you, please share it around, like it, why not do what you do best with it, and I don't know, so, you can do whatever you want to do with it, that's just the way we roll, but, um, thank you, this is just my quality sentence, I hope you enjoyed this video, and you can use the rendering sentence for any video, especially, like, if it's, like, it'll be awesome quality, especially if it's HD, but this is just, I showed you this, like, if it's true HD, whereas Roxio isn't, so this is why I'm just showing you this to get the best quality you can for your Roxio, and keeping the files size down really small like i said seven minute video done with these rendering settings 80 megabytes so you can't really beat that so that's basically it so i'm just going to show you the example i have here the video i have here with all the render settings applied to it and i hope you enjoyed this video and uh goodbye